Good morning. So today I was traveling to Austin. I'm gonna do a women's retreat this weekend. Woke up, everything running smooth, and my driver taking me to the airport was a little asleep. Had to freaking slam on his brakes, even though there wasn't a lot of traffic. <sighs> somebody hit him in the back, and somebody else hit him, and now we're pulled over on the side of the Florida Turnpike. And I'm not gonna make my flight. So, the winds have changed, y'all. The guy who hit him does not have insurance, so we're pulled over here. He suggested that I jump over the curb and try to get an Uber. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, life update. <laughs> Fuck. We made it. I made it. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Jordan's here. We're starting her birthday weekend trip on with a bang. Right. Literally. I missed my flight, so I had to go to the next flight. Now we have to stop in Dallas, which is like a little blessing. I feel like something's, something's waiting for us. And we did have some really good seats, and now we have some not so good seats. But that's okay. It is the way to prove your humble. Now we're gonna get some breakfast. So we're waiting in line. And uh, yeah, these people are really happy that I'm vlogging right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little update for you here. We made it onto another flight. Uh, I think we already said that. <laughs> a little update that we're drinking orange juice. We're under security. We're moving along. Things are great. Jordan had talked to a security woman named Raquel. We made some really serious promises about how she was going to help us. And then she fucking disappeared. Oh, who left? How do you feel about that? Raquel? From American Priority? We see you. We we'll see you, Raquel. We we'll see you. She made promises and disappeared like that. She's like a ghost, man. It's not cool. <laughs> that was crazy cool. for a minute. So, uh, adventures. The airport. Begin. How do you feel about your birthday? Oh, I'm so excited. We always have the most like fun adventures when we get together and do like birthday stuff. The like... big three. <laughs> oh, we're telling that we're, I'm 35. Oh, fuck. No, that's what Stella. <laughs> Come on. I'm 35. I'm going to own it because you look damn good for a 35 year old, whatever that even means. I think this is the age, this is the face that you can have at 35. I know a lot of people say I look younger because I hydrate. Oh my god, you're really going into this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 35 is fucking cool. Let's we'll just cut it. I'm about, about to turn. Time. Cut that shit. I'm about to turn 35 right now. Honestly, it's the best fucking time of our lives. So yeah, no. yeah, baby, it's amazing. Hello, we made it to Austin finally after all the fucking drama. Four hours later. Girl. Ah. <laughs> What I'm looking for today is some black boots. Oh, I love those. Bling. Very no, girly. Like Traditional. Black with a little bit of white. This. That's a jerk. One of my oldest friends. I love her. We met in Dallas and we partied really hard when we were teenagers. We did um, some fun stuff. Um, like 20 years ago. Like, yeah, 20 years ago. Now we've come back around to be like in our goddess era, like all glowed up. And like, she's living in Austin and we're on the road. Now we're quick like, shopping. She picked us up in the airport and we left her. Mm -hmm. Love you. Hey, Darcy, thank you. Bye. 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 A little smiley face and a heart. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Finished dinner, birthday cake. Yummy, this girl is having her birthday. Okay, okay, we're ready. We're gonna go two stepping tonight. I'm gonna save a horse and ride a cowboy. <laughs> 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 this time, we just eat, we eat, but it's 
pretty good. It was delicious. I had my mocktail. I had two mocktails. Um, in a while. So, Austin Street as well today. What's happening? We out here on these streets. <laughs> Have. This one is Angels and Ancestor Oracle. Get a reading. And whenever you're ready, pick one from here. Stop. Did I turn it? Yeah. <laughs> Retreat and recharge. Ha! <laughs> and then this deck is Spirit and the Wisdom. Very. Ah, you can pull out the box if you want to do the bottom one. This one? Yeah. I have a chance to I can't pronounce it to save my life. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. We are waking up here in Austin. We went last night and did a little two step in, did a little country vibes. We shopped. We got our cowboy hats. We got our boots. And now it's time for a women's retreat. So it's always nice to come back to Texas. I feel like there's a certain spirit in Texas that you don't really find anywhere else. So having spent a large portion of my life here, it feels really, really good to come back to Texas and connect to those roots, to the gentleman, to the sweet vibe of honestly that like masculine energy that you feel here from, um, from a sweet old man on the dance floor. Um, and uh, yeah, so it was really fun. I like the whole ritual of two-stepping. I'm gonna say I'm not very good at it, not familiar with it, but the men were kind enough to swoop me off the dance floor and, and uh, show me some two-stepping vibes. So that was sweet. We celebrated Jordan's birthday. She was two-stepping out there, having a good time. And uh, had a really lovely, nice dinner and just enjoyed Austin. Austin is a really beautiful place. There's the most amazing boot stores and cowboy hat shops and so it's quite the fashionable place and really really a fun place to go out at night so now we are headed about an hour away to spicewood texas to do this retreat with heather hoffman of activation vibration and her group sacred sisters circle and the retreat is called rewild so we're going to be connecting with our inner wild self and really finding that intuition and that wild woman self within. And I don't really know all the things we're gonna be doing, but I like to show up to retreats just with an open mind and open heart, not even investigate too much, just go with the flow of what's calling me. And I really love everything that she does. So I think it's gonna be amazing. And we are continuing Jordan's celebration, her birthday with this woman's retreat. And I honestly think like, what better way to celebrate your birthday than by doing some powerful work on yourself, hanging out with your sisters, um, so let's normalize that. Getting your friend a freaking retreat that's spiritual, that's with women for their birthday and doing something like this rather than going and getting drunk, right? So let's do it. We just packed up. We're headed out of Austin and it's time to go. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> Today I am on day two of the retreat and I am getting ready this morning for a Yoni steam. So, here we go. Putting some jewelry on, my dress. What is a yoni steam, you might ask? It's actually, um, I'm doing yoni steam with this woman and it's a cleansing and healing of your womb and with different herbals and steam from a bowl to your vagina. So that should be interesting and I'll report back what happens. So I'm on route to steam my yoni with the jaguar. 
Jordan's going to a workshop called Big Pussy Energy. We have to literally go through the hole in the streets. You can watch Jordan do it. I don't know if I can do it while being on the phone. <laughs> while vlogging. Let me hold this. Wait. Oh. Oh my goddess dress. That's a true goddess. The Yoni Steam, I'm going to heal something in my womb, is good for blockages in the womb space. And um, for me, I feel like I have had a big blockage there since my teen years where I experienced sexual trauma. And... Um, it's something that I've sat with for a long time that I actually feel very comfortable talking about. At the same time, I do feel like it created patterns in my life for relationships and sexual partners. And still, sometimes I have blockages around being able to fully trust myself, trust partners and release. And so I'm interested to see how this particular practice of Yoni Steam with the Jaguar, which she said is really good for healing and releasing blockages. When I did Bufo, was a really big release for me. Bufo is a frog medicine. It's called the 5-MeO Toad, which I'm going to make a video about that soon. Um, it was a big release. And actually a womb healing for me, which was a surprise. It heals very different things in different people. So it's a little bit about why I am doing a Yoni Steam this morning. And um, yeah, as I've been on more retreats with more women, more women's retreats, it's really interesting to find out, not surprising, that so many women, so many women, like I was in a room once um, with like a hundred women, probably two thirds of the room stood up when somebody asked how many women here have experienced sexual trauma two thirds of the, of the room stood up. So I think it's like, I think the, the statistic is like one in three women or something like that has been sexually abused, raped. Um, yeah, but what beautiful thing is that now people are talking about it, we're raising awareness about it. And um, the more you talk about it, the more people feel comfortable talking about it. So, so we have to continue sharing, creating space and uh, supporting each other as women. And it's beautiful for men to hear this and to support and to um, also be in this conversation. So with that, it's time to steam the yoni. <laughs> my yoni steam it was a really powerful experience what we had to do was crouch over the bowl like this i didn't video myself actually doing the yoni steam but this is what was happening there was the bowl the steam came up it was boiling water and then i got on my knees it was over the bowl at first i didn't really feel the heat because what was happening was a de-thawing of the numbness that has developed and then I started to really feel the heat and just sort of like breathe into it. I felt some kind of energy moving through my body. Um, she told me to do like Kegels, kind of like clench the muscles of the vagina. And um, I, felt, I smelled all the beautiful like essentials coming through, the flowers. And uh, she was massaging me and like moving the energy through. I actually felt like some emotions come up, some sadness. And I actually felt a sadness for like the fact that I felt like I had to do these things. Like, why do women continue to have to try to heal themselves from bad things that happen to us? And then I came in and I was like, compassion and great gratitude for the journey. And then I realized I wasn't really even healing anything. I was just there to develop a relationship with my yoni, which is what she reminded me that this is a practice that you develop monthly, uh, best to do during the new moon and um, to sort of uh, 
just like you might buy yourself flowers and pour some, do some tea, like a nightly ritual to have some tea with yourself, you um, do this yoni steam once a month, and then you go to the market, see what flowers are calling to you, see what essences are calling to you, or oils, put some salt in there, some honey, and then um, cleanse your yoni like that and start to develop this relationship from the yoni all the way up to your heart, to your mind, through your body. And we just don't spend enough time with the yoni. So it was a really, really beautiful experience. We had a lot of um, beautiful conversation around what was going on. And I feel really good as something I'm, I need to integrate a little bit more in process. Um, and then we took the flowers and the water and we poured it back into the earth. Uh, so I feel like a lot was released. And I feel like I've also was just the beginning of the opening and this relationship that I'm now building with my vagina, my yoni. Um, and I'm going to continue this practice monthly. So I'll keep you updated on how that is. But I think this is just the beginning um, of the opening of the de of this numbness and my exploration of my divine feminine energy, my sexual self. Um, so TBD. So we're leaving the retreat. It was such a beautiful experience. And number one takeaway is that when we come together as women, as sisters, even just for two days, and do healing work together, the possibilities, the magic is limitless. So, hope you guys enjoyed coming on this journey with us and we'll see you next time. We out of here. <laughs>